No, uh, don't be misled. This isn't a new boy band. Uh, <laughs> this is Lydon Hill for round four of the World Rallycross Championship 2015. Uh, and it's a family affair, right? Uh, we've got Liam and Pat Doran. Uh, this, is, this is such a nice place to be. You've even organised nice weather for us this weekend. This is home for you, isn't it? Yeah, it is home. Grown up here, both of us. Many years, lived just down the road and uh, this is where we used to come. The weekends like many people around here and we've been lucky enough to, to carry on, make it grow and bring the World Championship here. Now, of course, you used to race here. You're racing here this weekend. If we take a little walk around, how much has it changed uh, over the years that you've been racing here and in charge here? Well, it's changed. It's changed un unbelievably, to be honest. I mean, when I used to come here when I was a kid watching Dad race, there was uh, there was basically nothing here. It was basically a bit of tarmac in a field, and it, it, and essentially that's what it was. But that was what gave it the character it had. It was uh, it wasn't uh, you know a big famous professional racetrack. It was the place where rallycross happened. It was where it was born, and it's where it always happened. That's that's all we ever came down here to watch was rallycross or get involved in, and uh, it's just really gone from with rallycross as a sport growing and and getting better and more professional, the track's done the same, you know. Rallycross used to be that. Everyone was in vans and tents and uh, the cars were tatty as anything, whereas now it's a professional motorsport and everyone's doing it at the top level. So I think the track's raised its bar with the same with the same level. And uh, now when you look around now, it's professional, you know, everything looks tidy and uh, it, it looks great. You know, it's a good it's a good um, environment to be in. It's a great a great design for Rallycross with the bowl effect that it's in. And I think it's, yeah, I think it's good. It's, it always has a good atmosphere and uh, always it puts on good events. And looking around here, it's, you don't really get the sense on the telly of just how much uh, of an incline there is. Like, it's steeply banked over there. And this is very steep. I mean, this reminds me of stealth at Thorpe Park. Yeah, it is here. <laughs> I'd tell you, if any of these guys want to take a run up there, they'll soon realise how steep it is. You don't realise when you're seeing cars go up and down it. 20 times a morning. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It goes 20 laps yeah. every morning yeah, when we're here. <laughs> so, I'll just swim from the... Channel. <laughs> oh, it's you, is it? Yeah, swimming that channel? Really, yeah. I thought it was a. I thought it was a killer keeps whale. Rescued, keeps getting rescued. <laughs> now, was it? Is it like one of those classic, f f f sort of cinematic dynasties like Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker, or The Godfather, Don Vito Corleone? Was there ever going to be a different destiny for Liam other than driving in rallycross? Yeah. There was. He doesn't need to answer that one. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he had every other destiny in in mind than this. I think, if I remember back rightly, this was the last thing on the list that was ever going to happen. So, uh, He's be a rugby know. player, a rugby player, character building, <laughs> turn him into a proper gentleman, <laughs> and it never happened. It all went badly wrong. <laughs> But, I mean, he was racing here from a young age and watching you race with some legends as well. Talk us through sort of legends that were racing on this racetrack. Oh, we've had everyone there. Per Eklund, uh, Kenneth Hansen that's here with his boy now, Tommy Christofferson, Marty Skanky or Shanker, whatever you wanted to call his name. He was a boy. And then Will Gollop, of course, who was the British hero. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I was lucky enough to keep up with them and, you know, yeah, did all right. And in some nice cars as well. I mean, you must have the, the, the smell of the of the the engine fuel and and the tyres. There must have been something that just was in your blood from an early age. Yeah, I mean, the memories from back then are better than anything I've ever more recent years because obviously back then it was just like idolising my dad and watching all these guys race these cool cars. So uh, yeah, it, it was it was great. It was great fun. I mean, yeah, like you said, the cars were crazy. They were always smashing into each other, and there was flames and tyre smoke, and yeah, it was real raw racing is what it was. And it's yeah, it's that and seeing him drive them that gave me the passion and commitment to fight like a madman to keep trying to do it today. And now there's a there's another generation of, of Doran over there in a, in a push chair. Uh, is that is that going to be the next generation of rallycross superstar? American football. <laughs> <laughs> well, instead of rugby, is there? Basketball, yeah, basketball, American <laughs> football. No, I was, I was planning 100% that he never goes anywhere near a motorsport event or car or anything. And I think he's already been more to most than most kids ever have in their life. So uh, he's sitting here right now on a track, isn't he? So, yeah. all right, he's not in his car, but he's on wheels on a racetrack. So I am destined for trouble. <laughs> Well, listen, gentlemen, have a fantastic weekend. It's a real honour and a pleasure as a fan to be here at Lydon Hill this weekend, but I hope it's all very successful. Know your place. <laughs> Good job. Uh, and, of course, you can keep in touch with all things this weekend on live stream and across social media, World RX.